thank you for tuning in to meet your girl, Miss Awesome Lawson, also known as Mama Mario. And you guys, hold on a minute. Let me turn off my little. Let me turn off my little space here. I'm down here, y'all, in my bootleg, in my bootleg, um, my bootleg studio. So. I had to turn on my little space heater, y'all. But today, y'all, I'm going to be talking about how B-Love's life was on Steve Harvey. Okay, y'all? So, what I also did was made the tacos that she loved to eat, y'all. With, like, all this stuff on it that you kind of, like, never heard of. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make me some B-Love tacos while I talk about her accomplishment. So, basically... If you don't know, okay, it's ground beef. I got pico, beloved, if you watch this. I got pico because I know you normally get that when you go to Taco Bell. I did buy a tomato, but I ain't feel like cutting it up too. But tomatoes and a pico. I got jalapenos. I got the cucumbers. That's something that's odd. Um, I have onions. I have the sweet pickle, which I don't like. Um, <laughs> So... I hope that turns out right. I was going to put these um, candy pickles that I had on there, but I said I want to do it like you do it. You know what I'm saying? I got the cheese on there. Um, I'm about to. And I think I, it, they done fell over a couple times. They already done like just. Oh, y'all. Ooh, I probably. I don't know how this going to work, y'all. How this going to get in my mouth? How is this going to get in my mouth, y'all? And that one feel like it's been a fall. Okay. I don't know y'all how it's going to get in my mouth. Boy, I'm finna find out. I got some Trina Rexon hot sauce that I'm going to add on there. Because I, I don't think that's hot. I'm almost, I'm going to need some more. Oh. And the sour cream. I hope they pick a good because it's, it's deep in one arm. Oh, I hope it's good. Okay. I got some water. I got a Red Bull, y'all. Um, anywho, um, Basically, I think it's so cool for her to be the made that accomplishment. I know she's so proud of herself. I know her whole family is so proud. It's like, man, now, you know, even the, even though she got millions of followers, it's going to be more people that finds her now. And that's just how you do your brand. Y'all, I got to go and bite into this. It's a whole bunch of flavors bursting in my mouth. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to see when I put them all together where I did. Mm -hmm. The sweet pickle ain't bad on there. I did bite a little bit of it. I'm going to say, like, A say, not bad. But y'all, um, I'm so happy to see her. On the show, because if you did not know, I got a chance to meet her. And here's the picture. I got a chance to meet her and her whole family, y'all. And how I started watching me love is that my daughter, she was being in bed with me. I think it was around the time, like, COVID or something like that. I don't know. She always been, like, the whole summer in my bed. So, she was watching, you know, where they be crunching on stuff, pickles and ice and everything. Oh mm, like, girl, what are you watching? Like, for real? <laughs> and so, it was actually kind of getting on my nerves at first. And I was on Instagram one day in my bed, 
And Shekana had be loved on her YouTube. I mean, on her um Instagram. And she was like, y'all gotta go follow her. She be eating all this seafood and she make this sauce. And I think she kind of had tried to make the sauce, you know, and everything. So I was like, I'm, let me see if she eating all that food. And every day I started watching her just to see if she would eat all her food. <laughs> oh, she bad. <laughs> No, so, every day I'm watching. Now she's like, Mama, what you watching? <laughs> you be talking about me. And I'm like, look, Sadia, this lady going to eat all her food. Look. So I'm watching her every day. So, you know, them days turn to months and months turn to years. Um, then I start going back watching old videos. And so, then I, you know, watch them move from each house, got bigger houses, all that stuff, do walkthroughs, watch all that. And I was like, man, one day when she um come to Georgia, I seen she had came to Georgia with her. But that was before she got the apartment. Now she had the place, and I'm like, man, I can't wait till she have a meet and greet in Georgia. And so, she, I, it never came. She said she was having a meet and greet in Tennessee. At this point, I'm already watching Jill and Walt. I'm watching the whole family. And I said, you know what? I should go and see her. Because I already had my subscribers. But I needed my those 4,000 watch hours, y'all. And that's hard. And so, it registered in my brain that, you know what? You watch her every day. She's your favorite YouTuber. You should probably go see her. And that way, you can record the, the whole... Even though we stay only one day, I still we still did enough to record. We recorded Bill. I recorded Bill Street. We went to the pool while we was at the hotel we stayed in. We got to go to the mall and got to see B Love. So making that decision was a boss move for me. It was I did it for personal and business reasons. One that I liked her, and then two that I could work and get up the rest of the of uh, the hours that I needed. I only, I needed about a thousand, y'all. I probably only needed a thousand or um or a little more watch time hours. A thousand watch time hours, I think. And I decided to go. And y'all um, people you know what's coming in my inbox, man. I, mean, I got a lot of subscribers through her. I did. And she helped me. Her and her family helped me to get to my, the rest of my hours. And she probably don't even know it. A lot of people on my channel, they like to, to hear me talk about my son and Beloved. And so, basically, Beloved's family. So, you know... They'll call me clout chasers, but that's what they want to hear. How, first of all, I can't clout chase my own child. He, I'm the reason he a boss. So, how can you, like I said, how can you clout chase something that belongs to you? Second of all, no matter what they say, that's still what they want to hear. They want to hear about my son, so I don't really be stunning the haters. But, people was coming to my channel saying, like, how, you know, they was having negative comments about the whole you know, meet up at the mall. And I really felt like she meant well by it. You know, she probably didn't think it was that many people was going to be there in support of her. She probably didn't think it. She probably just thought she's going to see a few people, you know, at the food court or whatever. But anyway, 
I'm not mad at her. I'm glad everybody is okay from the whole situation. Nothing ever happened for me and my fam my daughter or my friend. And so, you know, I'm I'm thankful for the whole situation, you know what I mean? And you know, her, her family there, you know, it's, it's sometimes you'd be like, man, this can't be true. But at the same time, why couldn't it be? We all could have, you know, like, I feel like we all got dysfunctional families. And if you decide to talk about yours, or, you know, or it's out there, it's out there. You know what I mean? And it, and it takes a lot to just put some stuff on the front street because you do have more haters than um, people that that's happy for you. But when you learn how to make those haters your motivators, it's nothing that they can do. And so I'm happy for her and everything. I'm happy for the whole family. They're progressing. Now, I got a lot of advice for my beloved channel. She would give out nuggets, you know, and not really like that when she give you advice and stuff about your channel. I like that. One thing, <laughs> I think God's still working on me with is responding back to the people. Be like, if you see that, you the goat with that. <laughs> Um, it made me feel better when I respond. And actually, my son to go with it too, not responding. He is too, for real. We don't say nothing. So, I was like, wow. She didn't tell us about this. <laughs> mm. But she don't tell everything. My taco shell's been sliding too, y'all. But it's still good. For real. I'm trying to hold family, really. They're all entertaining. I don't care how mad I get about whatever that they do. I still watch them. <laughs> I do. A lot of people don't want to admit the stuff. I don't care. It's how it goes. When you figure it out, I mean, I don't talk about, well, I listen to everybody in case I do end up talking about stuff <laughs> that I wouldn't think I would talk about. I listen to a lot of different uh, country creators just in case I need to talk about something that I don't normally talk about. Then open. <laughs> but when I finally was able to get money, started, oh my God. Then you go through all of that. And I was so happy to complete that, to, to complete that goal. So I didn't care what nobody came to my channel saying, <laughs> I'm like, you thought it was stupid, but it wasn't stupid to me. <laughs> now my account finna grow. And they finally released my funds, y'all. They finally released my funds. I finally got a check 
finally. So now them things are going to be coming in and make sure. And that's motivation to make you work harder. And so I had said um on a video the other week ago that I wouldn't get uh, paid yet. And I said, I said because Google um was holding my funds. And um somebody going to say, I ain't even going to say their name. But, you know what I'm saying? This, uh, out for her, that's the music, most views I done got. Boo, out for you. I ain't hardly getting no views. It's the boy, stop. And she was like, You ain't getting paid anyway. You said in your last video, baby, get where I am now. <laughs> Them haters be hating when they ain't got no combat. And then. Um, you go over there they channel. And the only view they the real view they got is on you. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I am so thankful. I am. But everybody handle the people that come to their channel with the mess differently. Everybody handle it differently. And it's okay. Because it's your business. Well, how you handle things might not work for me. But, excuse me. <clears throat> and it's so crazy because people want you to handle things the wrong way. And then when you handle things the right way, they think you wrong. That is so crazy. This world is crazy. This world is crazy. That's why I'm glad my brain flows all the way to the top. Mm-mm-mm. I'm so good. You have your channel how you have to. All right. People say they don't like how I handle certain things on my channel. But guess what? It brings them back to watching it. We don't handle things like that now. I'm probably watching it. I mean, certain people are. Certain people are. But a lot of them, the main one, that be talking about don't handle stuff a certain way. That be all up in it. Y'all, look how sloppy this done got. Mm -hmm. I'm about eight of mine, y'all. With no paper in the house. Mm-mm. I said it on my Facebook page the time I seen it. I was like, oh, no. That's what I'm talking about. For real. See how I so all this time. <laughs> I could have been in his soup. <laughs> or his soup cooler. <laughs> yup. I remember that's not fair everybody. And also, before I even got monetized, y'all, <clears throat> my main goal, I knew that was going to eventually come out just in no win. But my main goal was to, like, have another way to show people what I create with my own hands, my hookahs. So that was my main goal, y'all. And it, it picked up. It picked up. Even though, you know, before I did start receiving a check, I was still receiving a check for my business, you know. And that's one thing I have always worked on, having multiple streams of income. So, you know, some people be like, oh, they the only thing you do. Yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> you probably only, I've never just done one thing, ever. <laughs> When I first started working, I had two jobs. Stop playing. Don't play with me. Play with your mama. <laughs> so, it helped my business before that you were that that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, won't he do it? Yes, he will. Mm 
She had her trailer in the back. She did a behind the scenes um thing. And she saw her trailer. That's pretty cool. When she got seen her. That's awesome. Cause you gotta continue to promote your brand. And she doing it in all kind of ways. I did it, um, I did it. I did that. I did it, huh? I don't know. Heck no. Oh. You know, I gotta go wash my hands. I want to show y'all a couple of hookahs. But maybe I'll do that another time. Um, I just want to give a shout out and a congrats to be love. <clears throat> and as a matter of fact, her whole entire family for just, you know, taking this whole thing to a whole nother level, y'all. To a whole nother level. So, um, thank you for tuning in to meet your girl, Miss Awesome Lawson, also known as Mama Mario. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.